Hey guys, my name is Cynthia, this is Tiny Tech Talks, and today we are going to finish our mock-up to WordPress website using the Oxygen Builder. So, last video we already created the header and the footer of this design. Today we are going to focus on the other sections. Let's break down our first section a little bit. It contains three columns, as you guys can see. Now the first column is quite simple it just has a heading and a text field or element then the second column is um, very similar to what we already created for our footer and then our last column just contains a google maps element so let's head over to our wordpress and start creating this with the oxygen builder okay so now in wordpress we're going to go to pages go to the home page and edit this one with oxygen now, because we set that main template to be a catch all template, it's going to be the default main template that is applied to every page we make. So that's why we already have the header and the footer showing up in this page and we still need to add our content. So let's start by adding our section. And then the next thing we want to do is actually add our columns. Now we're going to use the three columns. But as you can see in the design, this one is slightly bigger than these two. So let's set this width to like 40%. And then this one now is quite small. I'm going to make this one an equal size. So I'm going to put this to 30. And then this one should be 30 as well. So we have 30, 30 and 40 making a full 100% width. So let's start with this first section and let's add in our heading. I'm going to make this an H2 tag. I'm going to set the color to the correct color and let's copy over our text from our design. There we go. And then the next thing I want to do is add a text elements I'm gonna set this to a paragraph that already gives us some spacing and let's copy the text over from XD as well there we go that already looks quite similar to our design so our second section um, I'm actually gonna start off by adding a diff inside of this one and inside this diff we are going to create or have something very similar to what we already made in our footer now this is where that hydrogen plugin comes in handy i'm actually going to save this i'm going to go over and click the footer and as you can see this is in my main template so i cannot edit it from here so i have to go to open and edit template and as you can see oxygen is now kind of giving a warning um, however i did save the page and there is no other tab or browser open this is just kind of like a minor i guess bug inside of oxygen but i'm just gonna ignore this i'm gonna go inside and i'm gonna actually copy over one of these divs so that i don't have to remake them completely so i'm gonna use command c to copy this over I'm just gonna save it to be sure and then head back to my home page so Inside this div we already created, I'm actually going to copy over or paste that div I just copied from my footer. Now, as you can see, it has this white color applied to it, which I don't want. But if you remember correctly, we put this into a class and we don't want to edit this class because everything we edit in here is going to also affect this part. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a new class which I'm going to call info and then title. And then I'm actually going to copy over this tile into this one and delete this for the title from this element and then just set it to our dark blue color. And I'm going to do something very similar for the text. So again, info text add that class head over copy this one paste it in there and then remove this footer text class and set that color to blue now as you can see it's changed up here but it didn't affect the element down here so now i'm just gonna go over to my xd and i'm gonna prepare 
the other ones by duplicating this element. So I've inputted all the text, I've changed the icons. Now these are not the prettiest icons. However, Oxygen does allow you to import a custom icon set. So my advice if you are designing for a client is to make sure that you have a set ready for every icon they will use in the design and then import that and use that throughout the design. So let's continue with some of the styling. First things first, I want to actually align this more with the title. So let's set this to top and then give it just a tiny bit of spacing. Um, let's go with four pixels. So it looks a bit nicer. Pretty happy with that. Now the other thing I do want to change is actually put some margin in between these. So I'm going to go with size and spacing and give them a margin of 12 pixels at the bottom. So that already looks a bit better. And now the only thing that is left is I actually want to center these ones out. You want to take that main div and vertical align these. So this entire div goes down. And then I also want to center this. Um, except I do not want to center these text fields. So let's go into typography and put them to the correct alignment. So that looks very similar to what we have in our um, mock-up. Now the last column contains a Google Maps element, which is actually already provided in Oxygen. So let's go add and then search Google Maps. And as you can see, it already exists in Oxygen. So it saves us a lot of time. I'm actually going to paste an address in so we get a pin on the map. And I'm going to set this height to spend a deep full 100% of this div. So that looks pretty nice. It looks very similar to our mock-up and I'm pretty happy with it so far. So I'm going to leave it and let's start with our second section. Now let's have a look at our second section. So we have this image which is kind of like offset compared to the text. Um, so let's head into oxygen. First thing I want to do is actually put some extra spacing here. So I'm going to go to this section and then size and spacing. And I'm actually going to put 150 pixels below this one. And then I'm actually going to add in my new section underneath it. I'm going to set the background color to the gray color. And I'm going to also add in two columns as we have the image on one side and then the text on the other. So in this first column, let's add our image. Let's go to media library, browse and select the correct image. I'm going to set the size to full and that already looks quite nice. So now let's add the content in the second column. So I'm going to use a heading again. I'm going to use H2 text color is this red orangey color. And let's copy over this title. And then underneath that, we need a text field. So let's in add in text paragraph and copy over this text. So I'm also going to give this this dark bluish color. So that is quite similar. So now the only thing that is left is actually make this image move up. So I'm going to go into advanced size and spacing and I'm going to set a negative margin on this image. So maybe let's increase it just a little bit. Let's make it minus 160. So let's save this and check the front end. That looks quite similar to our mock-up. So now only the last section is left. So we will need a heading. We need three columns with a card inside and a button. So let's start by adding a new section. And then inside that section, I'm going to add a heading, which is going to be an H3. 
2. Let's set the text color to our blue color and let's copy over our text. Now, as you could see in the design, this one is centered. So I'm going to go to size and spacing and set the left and right margins to auto so that this is centered. Then underneath, I'm going to add the three columns. I'm just going to leave them for now because I first want to add that button. So let's add the button element and then let's style it so that it looks like our mock-up so i'm gonna put in the correct color i do want to increase the font weight so that's a bit more bold um, now let's also center this one so let's go to margin let's set these to auto and now as you can see there's still a little border radius applied to this button which i don't want so let's go into advanced borders and now for some reason this is set to zero yet there is a small border radius and if i try to input a zero it doesn't work but if i input a one you can see it's not grayed out and now i can put in a zero value and this does work so if anybody knows what is going on with that feel free to share it um next thing i want to do is actually add some spacing and I'm going to do this by adding a class and um, I'm going to call this class margin bottom and I'm going to call this large. So margin bottom large and then you can also create like a small and a medium class. Um, and the reason for that is if I do large and I just set the size and spacing to a big value, you can create smaller types and then you don't have to always go and apply a margin to every single element so now i can just go into these columns and i also want that large spacing so i'm just going to apply that class now let's also put the correct text on that button so that looks quite nice so now we just have the cards left to make the cards, I'm going to start with adding a div and setting that width to 100%. And then what I want to do as well is add some extra padding. So I'm going to add 24 pixels all around. And then right now it's just like a white. You can't really see what we've done. So we're going to add a shadow to it. And uh, there's this really cool website called shadows.brom.af where you can actually generate um, box shadows. So you can play around with all of these settings. Um, and then once you like it, you just copy this code. And we're actually going to use that in Oxygen. So I'm going to start by adding a class called box shadow. Let's apply it and then go into advanced custom CSS. And this is where you want to paste that box shadow CSS code and then apply it. And as you can see right now, there's this nice little shadow applied to that div we made before, uh, which makes it resemble like a card. So now I want to start adding the content. So I'm going to start by adding a text and I'm going to use that info um, title that we used before on this text field whoops it's in the wrong space so let's put it correctly and then let's see I will be needing this text and let's paste this in now I'm also gonna make this into a paragraph but now as you can see it adds padding which usually is quite nice but I don't want it for this specific um, text field so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna create a class because I might want to reuse it and I'm gonna call this no uh, margin so no mg um, edit and then go into fonts size and spacing and set both um, let's just put all of them to zero so every element we apply this will not have a margin um, next up, I want to add another text field. Again, it's going to be a paragraph. Um, I want to set, I'm also going to make a class for this one because 
uh, we will be reusing this element as well. So let's quickly make this into a class. Um, let's set this to price title edit can then add some color to it also make it a bit more bold and i'm actually gonna decrease the font size of this and i'm also gonna apply that no margin class so that it's closer to that top title um, which resembles our mock-up a bit more like this so let's put in the correct text that already looks quite similar to our mock-up so next thing is this little horizontal line and then we only have a list left so i want to add a div and i'm gonna set these the height the minimum height and the maximum height to four pixels and the width is gonna be a full 100 percent so that it spans the entire width and i'm actually gonna go into advanced borders and apply a border to the bottom so let's do it to the bottom let's set it to our little gray give it a width of one pixel and put it to solid which is now added a line you can't really see it right now but it will show up when i show you the front end and then the last thing that is left is actually adding this icon list and oxygen already has this nice add-on um, called composite elements and that already has a icon list element so i'm going to use that let's edit now i do want to style it a bit more so that it looks more like our mock-up so first thing i want to do is delete these dark rows now you could delete the background off of this but as this is an element, it's like a global thing. So if you ever want to use this on the rest of your website and you want to have these alternating rows, it's not a good idea to delete this because it is a class. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to delete that entire row and not mess with that, um, with that class. So let's just delete all of these dark rows. So they are not in here anymore. Now, there are a few things I do want to style within this website. So these icons, I always want to make sure that they are this um, orange color. So I am going to like change this in the icon list um, standard class. And then I do also want to add some extra spacing in between the text and the icon. So I'm going to go to um, advanced size and spacing and add a eight pixel margin that looks a lot better um that also looks a lot more like our uh, mock-up so let's save this and then now i'm actually just gonna use the copy function and just copy over these or discard into the other three columns now basically we've already made this entire um, mock-up so I'm not gonna put in the correct text because I think you guys you know get like the the ID behind it so let's see what it looks like on the front end we have our header our first section second section and our last with these cards and then we have this footer so a few things you want to do if this is a live client site is make sure that all of the buttons and all of the links are actually working. Um, something very important as well is make sure that this design is responsive. So it isn't automatically fully responsive. So make sure you go to every screen size, every breakpoint and adjust the layout so that it displays nicely on, on smaller screens as well. But yeah, basically this is my process of going from a mock-up to a website. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave me a comment and I'll try to respond to it as soon as possible. If you like this video, also feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to know when I put out new videos, then you can always subscribe and hit the bell so you get a notification. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you in a future video.